I'm going to do a sort of demo and mini review of curl formers. There are these guys right here. I got them from um, Sally's Beauty. There's like my hair all over them. I got them from Sally's Beauty. Um, right now, I just wanted to show you what my, this is second day hair. I can't remember if this is third or second day hair. Um, I think it's second day hair. Um, what I did before was, what's today? Today's Saturday. So Friday night I did not sleep in curlers, but Thursday night I did sleep in the curlers. So I'm going to go through the whole process, but I just wanted to show you, it's the end, it's like 9 o'clock at night, it's the end of the second day of my hair. When I woke up, I just had to touch up the side curls. I have the rest up in a little clip because they really, really fell. This one also, I'm looking in my mirror over here, this one also sort of fell, but the others look really, really bad. But in the morning, I wake up and I just touch up the ones around my face with my half inch, no, it's got to be like an inch curling wand. It's not that big, um, just to frame my face. And then everything else in the back looks fine. Let me see if I can show you what the side and the back, my chair is so squeaky, looks like. Um, I'll just turn all the way around. <laughs> my chair is so squeaky, this is hard to do. So that's what the end of second day hair looks like. Um, I really need to get my Allen wrench out. I think it's in here and fix my squeaky chair. Um, so anyway, that's what the end of second day hair looks like. I'm going to go jump in the shower and I'll be right back. So I figured while we are, while we are, while I am going to do this on my hair, I thought I would talk about my hair color really quick and the shampoo that I use. I used to get my hair professionally dyed and cut. However, I've been trying to save a considerable amount of money because I don't really need to be spending money on getting my hair done um, all the time. So I found this um, from the drugstore. It's called Splat. It is, it's a complete kit. It says color and bleach and peroxide. Um, it has, I don't have the applicator thingy in here. This is a box that I already used, but it comes with a bottle of color and then um, like bleach and then whatever, to peroxide, whatever to make the compound together that you put in your hair to bleach it. So I, this is my third box of this actually. It took me two boxes <laughs> to get it right because I was just, I completely screwed it up. Um, so anyway, um, but this is the shade Lusty Lavender, and I actually really do like this, and I do plan on buying this again. Um, the other color I think I'm going to get to do top, the top part of my head a darker color, and then the bottom part this Lusty Lavender color. Um, I don't remember the name of the color, but I'm going to probably do a blog post on it. So anyway, this is from the drugstore. It's about... 11 12 dollars i think the cheapest place i found it was target however they don't have all the colors i got it at walgreens and they had a whole bunch of colors like maybe six or so um they have like a teal a blue this purple a magenta purple i think like a magenta color a darker purple a pink they have an ombre kit they have a bleaching kit um so i think it's pretty cool if you have her hair length you're gonna need two of these i almost need two of these and my hair is only to my shoulders so I apply it with a brush and in a bowl, and I'm actually going to have to bleach my roots next time I use this. So, um, yeah, I just want to talk about that. Um, then I also use this Redken Color Extend Magnetics Shampoo. Um, this is just what I got at the at Ulta when I was getting my hair done at Ulta. I actually have quite a few bottles left of this, so they had like, you know how they do the buy two, get one free kind of thing. So I'm just going to keep using this up. And then I'm using up all the conditioners that I've been hoarding forever, and this is just a Pantene conditioner. Um, I really like the suave moroccan oil one better but i don't have any more of that so i'm just using up what i have okay so i'm gonna get all this shiznit out of the way here um so what you want to do what you want to do i have a mirror here i'm gonna be looking in is have towel dried hair you still want it to be a little bit damp 
um, because the curl formers are woven and they're going to really allow for your curl to dry. So it kind of reminds me of how those Chinese finger stra finger stress finger traps are set up where it's like a woven kind of material. I don't even know if this is going to focus or if you can see, but these things stay in this curly form and you get in the one that I got, I have the styling kit for spiral curls for long hair up to 14 inches. Um, she's got pretty long hair on the box bag thing here. Obviously I do not yet. I think these work really well for me. So I keep all of my junky junk in the case here. Otherwise I would lose everything. So what you're going to need is a hair clip, a spray bottle of water in case any parts of your hair get too dry. And then I use the herbal essence, tussle me softly, tussling mousse. Let loose for touchable all day waves. It's a medium hold mousse. It says it's a, it has all day humidity protection and frizz control. I think it was pretty cheap at the drugstore. I was actually at Walgreens and they didn't have a selection of styling products hardly at all. So I got this and I actually really, really like it. And then I have a little comb um, just to brush out sections. And you will get this guy here. It comes in two pieces, which is the hook that you'll use to pull your hair through everything. So I'm hoping I can do this with my little slanted wall here. Um, so I section off the bottom of my hair. Ooh, that's cute. Whoa. And I just kind of work at what I can because it's so like funky looking. Um, I also use the top of this to put mousse on. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, um, but I just squirt mousse like on the top of the thing and I use that uh, instead of having to pick it up off my hands every time. So you'll get used to this. It's actually really not that hard to do. So there are 40 of these little hair curlers of the curl formers. And what I do is I just take a little bit, that's a little bit too much, on my hand and kind of just run it through the ends. And then I do a little bit of a twist because, and I stick the, you're probably not going to be able to see this, I stick the crochet hook thing in between my legs and push the curl former on top of it. And then you take the hook and you hook it through and pull your hair through. Some of them it doesn't work that easy. Um, some of them you really have to work at it. So I just take another little section of hair, get a little bit of mousse, run it through the section. I kind of do a twist so I can get that hook like up in there. And I alternate between the pink and the orange because they're supposed to be different, like they're supposed to curl different ways. So I'm just going to do a few more here. I'm going to turn this way. Hopefully you can see. So I just get a little bit of mousse on my hands. Do it like this. Do a little twist. Grab the alternating color. I'll put the hook up here if you can see it. I don't know. Put the hook Grab it through Ooh. and pull the guy through. So I kind of just do this all around. Um, I do recommend doing this on washed hair with mousse. Um, thank you, Chris, for telling me to, you know, do it by the directions. I tried to do it on second day dirty hair, no styling products, and I'll leave a link down below to my hair or a video that I had that sort of loose 
waves in, they did not stay at all. So if you want your curls to stay, you're going to do it with this method. And then, I guess I can turn around maybe. And you can see you can totally do this without a mirror. <laughs> And if you get to where it's like not alternating properly, that's not a big deal. So I just do a little twist so I can get the hook in there without getting caught on other hair. And then pull, pull it through. And then I go through and work on these little baby hairs because I think I'm really only going to put like... three, maybe, and if you don't get everything on the bottom, it's fine, it's, I mean, my hair is short enough where it's not really gonna matter, and you want to make sure you're pulling it through as close to the root as possible, because you don't want to have like a straight piece. in your hair. So I guess I'll do these last two sections here. So I end up putting four down here rather than Three. I don't know what color I just did either. <laughs> then I drop it down and do another layer. Take my glasses out for this. And it's the same thing. You don't want really big pieces, but you don't want really tiny pieces either. And I just take the mousse and squirt it on my top of my lid here. I do like to put the orange ones framing my face because I feel like they're supposed to be the ones that pull the curl away from your face. I really don't know though. And then just pull it through. Um, and I make sure that I'm not missing any. Try to get the um, mousse not all concentrated in one place, but actually distributed through the length of the piece of hair that you're working on. I notice that, I'm hoping you can see, I hook it through and then if I can get it back, I sort of use my fingers to grab a hold of the top of the curl former and then pull the hook through the rest. Um, but like I was saying, I noticed when I was first doing this that I kind of kept the mousse in like this area and then the ends would get straight through the day and so just kind of make sure I kind of start at the ends and then work up and kind of run my finger through it as well and then I do a twist and put the hook on bring it down to the base of my roots pull this guy up pull it through that really I really should have taken that out but I really didn't want to so sometimes you'll have to take it out because you're not getting all of the hair in the hook and it's trying to like combat and pull it through I don't know what color I just did I put all 40 of these in my hair
You can see it does not take that long at all. So I'm going to do the rest of this side of my hair and then I'll come back to you. So I did that second layer and now I'm going to find my part and I'm going to do the my left side of my head. And depending on how much I've left, I might break this up into two, which I think I'm going to do into two sections. So I'll bring this over here and clip it under with that. And then just repeat. I am finding that I dropped my comb that my hair is getting a little drier. You'll sort of get to know, I feel, how wet your hair needs to be. And you'll be able to, excuse me, keep it that wet. So I'm going to, and it's really not hard to put these guys on. They, they just open up and you just slide it through. And then you just slide it through. And it, you know, works out. And I find that this size chunk of hair works the best. I I'm going to do an experiment. I mean, this whole thing was an experiment, but I'm going to do an experiment with using bigger chunks and fewer um, curlers to see if I can get just like a wave going or if it'll work, you know, even at all. And I put my curlers in probably... I try to put them in as early in the evening as I can so that I can sleep on them for the longest amount of time. Um, so I say I put them in, I probably put them in around 9 and I wake up at 5 and I feel like that's pretty good. So this is really dry. So I'm just going to keep doing this and I will see you in a minute, I guess. So as you can see, it honestly does not take that long. I did miss this hair and I kind of ran out. So these two are really thick. I could have put, I wish I would could have put one more. I wish this could have been three instead of two. Um, so I might have to touch those up in the morning um, with my curl and iron to make sure that they are as tight as I would like them. You can buy individual or like a set maybe of like five or six I think of these guys um, if you think you might need to get some supplements for the 40 that come in here. I actually think I am going to do that because I find myself having to ration them out. Um, the first few times I did this I was able to get all 40 in my head the way that I liked it. More often than not, I'm able to get all of them in my head. Um, it just comes down to when you have one really tiny piece and you use a curler on it and you could have used that curler on another you know, bigger piece. So, you know, first world problems here with your curlers. So you look like a la la loopsie doll at the end of this. Um, I'm just going to sleep on these and I'll wake up in the morning and I'll take them out with you and I'll show you how um, they look and how do I style them and all that stuff. So I will see you tomorrow morning. So it is the morning. I have my curlers still in my hair. I have a doggy who was wanting something. I don't know what. Okay off. Go play with your, go play with your bone. Go play with your bone. Go get your bone. Go get, not that. This is mom's. Okay. So I have these in my hair still. I did not take apart the little hook um, last night. And what I do is just 
pull them out and put them back in the little case thing. I kind of start at the back. Let me see if I can turn around. So I start at the back and I kind of just loop my finger in and kind of pull out the curler because I want to loosen up the like tightness so I'm not pulling on my hair too much. Because that's just uncomfortable. I mean, it doesn't really hurt per se, but it's just kind of uncomfortable. So I just loop it in, undo the curl a little bit, and pull the curler out. And hopefully you can see all the curls starting to, ow, take shape. So I'm just going to pull the rest out. I'm just going to pull the rest out and I'll see you in a second. So this is what they look like all sort of pulled out and sort of off, off, finger through them a little bit. I don't want to pull them apart too much because I don't want to cause a lot of frizz, but I do want them to be not looking so like doll hair like. And then I'll also go back through with my finger and sort of if it's getting to be too fro-like <laughs> and sort of um, piece them back together. Like that one was a really good one. So that's what they kind of look like once you pull them straight out of the curlers. And they're so tight, you can kind of really play with them until you get them the way that you like. They're not going to fall too much when you do that. So it looks kind of crazy to begin with, but I'm going to show you the side and the back. And they're like really, really bouncy. And so when I want them to stay, they're going to fall out a little bit, and actually by the time I get to work, they're going to look the way that I want them so to. So I just take this Ion Color Solutions Color Defense Extra Control Shaping Spray that I got from Sally's and kind of just hit it.
and that kind of makes it stay. And the pieces that I did miss last night, they're kind of blending in, so they're not, you know, um, too wiry. And if they were, I could go in with my really old, really dirty um, Conair curling wand. I believe this has got to be like an inch. Um, it's got like hairspray and gross caked all over it. Ew. But that's the curling wand or curling iron that I use. So that's how I do my curls using the curl formers. Um, they did come out a bit crazy today. And I guess it's just because I wanted to film it and do it. But they will they will fall out. And I like my um, sort of bob is like a graduated one where it's kind of longer here. These will fall and be really pretty kind of. Um, hanging down curls. So I really like this. I hope this helped you maybe decide if you want to get these curl formers. They have a bunch of different um, lengths and tightnesses. They have one specifically for short hair. These are for longer hair. Then they have ones that are for extra long hair. I mean, they have a whole bunch of different ones. These, This is very expensive. This set of 40 was like 60 some dollars, 50 or 60 some dollars from Sally's. Um, so I think it's crazy ridiculous. However, I really like how these come out versus the foam rollers that I used to use and versus the flexi rods that I used to use. Um, this curl stays longer. It They dry because they're that like woven kind of texture they're really the air is really able to get through them and dry as if you you were just letting your hair air dry and i think that is what helps it keep the shape um i'm not sure if it's the combination of the hairspray or maybe the the styling mousse together however when it's humid outside um because it has it has been raining um, a few days this past week. And I mean, if you're in a torrential downpour, obviously your hair is going to get wet enough to make the curls fall. But um, even just a little bit of sprinkle and like a little bit of heavy rain hasn't done anything, nor has the humidity caused my curls to fall. Um, I, I really like these curl formers and I really would suggest them because, I mean, even though they're so expensive, I think that they are totally totally worth it and I would consider this a splurge but I mean if you really want to have curly hair and you don't want to spend you know an hour or more however long it takes you to curl your hair I definitely recommend these I really really like it I mean you can see you're getting these crazy ringlets going on and I mean it's just it's amazing the staying power of the curls and make sure you're using your products. Make sure you put mousse in. Make sure your hair is damp. Um, I'm going to do more experiments, which you can see on my Instagram. If you want to, you can follow me. It's at 5 16 um, I am going to try putting less in my hair, bigger chunks, seeing what happens, if I can just get a wave. Um, but, yeah, I mean, overall, I would totally recommend these these curlers I mean you may think my hair looks crazy now but I mean all my videos previous to this like starting back up on my channel um I have curly hair and it's because of this and I really really like it I think I mean they're gonna fall beautifully they're gonna relax and look more um I don't want to say natural but they're gonna look more they're gonna look less like afro clown and sometimes you just got to play with the curls to get them to do what you want but that's why hairspray is your friend you can sort of like put them back and hairspray them and whatnot but I I mean I do I really I can't say enough how much I like these curl formers so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you want to subscribe I would love for you to stick around um, you can also read my blog I'm probably going to do a another sort of pictures and stuff review on my blog as well it's 516sblog.com if you have any questions let me know I respond to comments quite often here so just let me know and yeah so I hope you found this helpful. I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.